Hey, what's going on guys? It's Modix back here with another video and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make an Apex Legends thumbnail for your YouTube videos inside of Adobe Photoshop So let's go ahead and get right into it So this is one of the thumbnails that I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make it's super easy as you guys can see There's not much to it in um, the layers but you can still make some pretty amazing thumbnails so the first thing that we're gonna want to do is open up a new project and then we want to go ahead and do 1280 for the width in pixels 720 for the height make sure that the orientation is on this one and then i don't mess around with any of these settings i just go ahead and click create so this is going to bring us to this one this little white background so next you're going to want to go into google chrome and you can just search up Apex Legends background and you're gonna get a ton of these thumbnails that like thumbnail backgrounds that you guys can use so a ton of these would work really well like this one if I was streaming Apex Legends I would definitely choose one of these because it just looks very nice but mine that I'm gonna be working with is right here so just go ahead and save that to your computer if you want another option you can also go on to origin.com um, and then go to Apex Legends, scroll down for screenshots and videos, and you have some options with all of these, and these can still make some pretty amazing thumbnails. I prefer to have the characters in there, because I feel like that's a bit more eye-popping, um, but like this one, that would be such a cool thumbnail. And all you have to do, right-click, save image as, and you're going to basically be able to use that. But anyways, now that we have our image, we're going to want to go ahead and just insert our picture by doing place embedded and then i need to go to my desktop and then where is it right here and then i just need to click save that little checkpoint and now it's going to be pretty simple i'm going to go ahead and delete the background since we don't really need that anymore so what i like to do is file place embedded i have one of these already made I have this little video border that I used to use on my gaming channel, but um, I decided to switch over here. So what I like to do, pull this down until I can see that that background, which is a PN, which is transparent right now, basically a PNG. Um, so it's just gonna be clear. But right now there's none of that showing, so it's right on the edge. So that basically gives it a better fit because now I can see Apex better and I can see the face. Um, just a bit better and next all we're gonna do is click this T right over here and then click on our text I use the font big no big noodle titling if you guys don't already have this be sure to get it onto font because it is what I really like to use my for my thumbnails that I make I put mine on 36 point and then all you're gonna want to do is like type in let's say that you got a 10 kill game so let's type in 10 and then click the checkpoint again just click again kill i keep everything in um caps just because it's more eye popping and then i don't know we could say just game you could even do like dub win any of those so next we're just going to want to double click on 10 that's going to bring up the layer styles and what i like to do i, tr I just kind of like to keep it simple just add a simple stroke and i put nine point black stroke because that will show a bit better and i'm gonna go ahead and try an outer outer shadow um i don't know why this keeps on popping up as a white outer shadow i just want this and then what you're gonna want to do is just adjust with these until you can somewhat see it so i need to get the noise up a bit well i don't even know what's going on but um yeah you're just gonna want to do this play around with it until you like it that's why i'm in screen i just go ahead and do normal and then I just lower the opacity a bit so that we can just barely see it. And like noise, you see we're going to get not very good picture. So I just turn it down to zero. And then we could actually turn the opacity up just a bit. Uh, we don't want that big of a spread. We just want to keep it somewhat small. Yeah, just like that. I think that, that looks pretty good. So next, what you're going to want to do, just go ahead and click OK. Go like this. Copy layer styles, and then on kill, we're going to just paste our layer styles, game, paste our layer styles. So now we have what we're working with right here. So 
Honestly, I can make these a bit bigger, so just go to text. Highlight, uh, nope, we don't want to do that. That's created a new layer. So be sure you get you, this changes to that, and then highlight everything. Go over here, just change the font. I think 60 might be too big, so I'm going to go ahead and just type in, let's try 50. I feel like that, yep, that's a good size for me. And then let's go over to kill, do the same thing. See, that's what's going to happen if you guys don't, don't make sure you have it looking like that. Just go ahead, type in 50. Click enter, click the checkpoint, go over to 10. Oh, you guys are going to want to um, go ahead and go to 10 when like they're super close to each other. That way, well, just wait guys. You want to make sure that they're not behind each other because that, that will affect everything. I don't know why it's causing me troubles now. But there we go. Select the text button again. Go like this. Go over. 50. There we go. We're just going to pull game down just a bit. Kill down just a bit. And then 10 right there. We're going to keep it balanced. And now I just want to kind of adjust it so that it's in the middle of everything. Again, right around there looks pretty nice. So what I like to do, I have a pretty simple gradient going right now. And um, I'm just going to go ahead, open the layer styles. And then right when I click gradient overlay, it's going to give me this like golden to bright yellow that I really like. So what I normally do, I'll look at this and then I'll come into this one, add the gradient overlay, click OK, and then I'll come back over here, just select the gradient overlay, just take it away. That won't look as good, so I'm gonna keep um, the overlay on the kill, and I normally just do it with one. Um, you can change that up a bit, but that's pretty much eye popping. If you want, you can add your thumbnail right there. I wouldn't recommend putting anything in the bottom right hand corner, because that is where you're where the length of your video goes um, on YouTube. But other than that, I think we're finished. I'm gonna make sure that this is lined up perfectly. There we go. And just like that, well, I think that this might be overlapping. So I'm just gonna get all of them by clicking shift. And then we're just gonna move it over a bit. Don't want it to hit apex. But just like that, there you go. That is how you create an Apex Legends thumbnails for your videos on YouTube. I hope that this did help you guys out. If you do find it helpful, be sure to hit that like button. And if you guys want any specific tutorials, be sure to let me know in the comments down below, along with if you guys want me to make you any thumbnails, because I am thinking in the future to maybe just like help you guys out by making some thumbnails for you guys. Just be sure to let me know in the comments if you guys want to do that. If this is your first video, watching with me i hope you guys did enjoy i want you guys to go down and hit that subscribe button because it really does help me out i am just starting to grow this channel i had two separate ones but that's another story and i don't want to get sidetracked this was a quick easy tip in adobe photoshop i hope you guys did enjoy and we'll see you guys in the next one